guys and girls, welcome back to Watch The Time. Thanks for tuning back in. Thanks for coming back to see me. I'm really pleased you've done so. And I'm really pleased about to bring you the Proxima PX1703. This one that I was so excited about prior to the sale. I featured on my sale video. It looked unbelievable. Obviously, they've drawn much inspiration from another watch, maybe two watches. Um, but I think this looks the business. I like the colorways. I like the finishing. I'm a big fan of Proxima. I think they do some excellent stuff. A uh, couple of bits they're going to be bringing in the future. Uh, like I said before, they're looking to bring in a on-the-fly adjust class, which I think is also going to elevate them to that next level. But they're finishing and stuff thus far. I've got one in my collection. This wall could be my second Proxima to stay in my collection. Is it? Is it as good as it looked? Is it as good as we all hoped? Because they, they sold a lot of units during the sale, and I'm hoping it lives up to the hype, but does it? I guess there's no time like the present to find out. If you like the watch... Please click the link in the description. It's an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost you any more. But with that being said, I will stop going on. So let's get the camera turned around and get on with it. Hi guys, so this is the watch. Usual Proxima packaging. Briefcase, briefcase style. Um, sticker in the corner. Four clips, just to keep it safe. I've unclipped them because it's a bit tricky with these gloves on. Uh, take it out. Look at the watch. It does come in a little pouch as well as all the plastic and stuff on top of it. In a foam, just to sort of keep it safe. Comes with a screwdriver. I can't lie guys, this screwdriver I couldn't get to, to, to fit, to be honest. This was a bit too wide for the screws, so I'm not sure why that was uh, supplied. Uh, hang tag, put my name on it. They did it last time as well. Instruction manual, warranty card, all signed. You'll be able to make that out. Um, you see also that I've taken off four links, two of which are half links for it to fit my wrist just as I like it. And that's it guys, That that is what you get with the Proxima. Uh, pretty standard stuff, put that to the side and then we can focus on this watch. This is one I've been really looking forward to getting. Has it lived up to my expectations? Has it surpassed it? Let's find out. So this is the PX1703, you'd have seen it on my sale video and I'm pretty sure you'd have seen it on many sale videos at the time. A uh, good price at the time for what it for what you're getting, and for how good it looks. To be honest, so there we go. P PX one seven zero three. Inside, it's running a PT five thousand movement. I'll bring some information up about that movement now. Um, you've seen this movement probably quite a few times now at this point, and for pretty good reason as well. Uh, it's a clone of the SW two hundred, not therefore a clone of the ETA twenty eight twenty four. I've all, the ones I've had, um, and I've had quite a few at this point. They, what, they run fantastically well, um, well within the parameters that are set out on screen now. Uh, I can't say I've ever had a problem with one. So with that being said, uh, I'm quite happy to have PT5000 movements in my watches. See, that's the movement. The construction of the watch, aside from the crystal and the bezel insert, is all 316L stainless steel. So the case is really, really nice to be honest, guys. You've got brushing at the top. Then you've got a real thin faceted edge you can barely just make out but yeah then it goes to brushed down to polished surfaces which is really really nice nice transitions on there you're brushing on the on the tops of the bracelet and at the sides which is continuing through to the the clasp you got it on the top at the sides you've got a faceted polished edge going through very crisply done solid end links brushed at the back and you've got the case back which is screwed down the center circle of all the information and the manta rays is all brushed, deep etched, and the outer part of that is high polished. But yeah, the, this this watch is very well well put together. Uh, I like the brushing, I like the finishing. Um, so yeah, it's all 316L stainless steel mixture, brushing and polishing. You've got polishing on the side of the clasp, uh, excuse me, side of the crown also. But there you go. The case thickness of the watch is 12 millimeters. The case diameter, I normally measure from the nine to the three, uh, nine, uh, excuse me, to the eight to the two o'clock position, it's coming in at 39.1 millimeters. Let me go from nine to the three, including the crown, it's coming in at bang on 42 millimeters. The lug width on this is 20, that does taper down to 16 and back up to 18 mil at that fully mil clasp. And the lug to lug, tip to tip of the watch, so the length of the watch, if you like, is 45.3 millimeters. So extremely good proportions there guys for this sort of skin diver um yeah good proportions there the bezel 
is a 120 click unidirectional bezel the insert is sapphire um, and i like the way it's been done because it's all loomed we'll show you that in a bit yeah no bounce no back play sounds really really solid i hope it's coming across on camera and you'll see that it does line up bang on as well which is good to see so sapphire bezel insert 120 click unidirectional the crown is situated at the three o'clock is polished at the top at uh, the sides of, and it is got a good bit of knurling on there as well the case back i did show you just a moment ago it's screwed down has got the manta rays on there just limited edition sapphire crystal 316l all the stuff that we're going to run through um yeah so there we are the bracelet yeah it's nice very very comfortable i said it's got four it's got four mils of taper it's one link made to look like three uh, screw pins as i already mentioned at the outset of the video uh, i couldn't get the screwdriver to fit in there it was getting a bit of a pain so i had to use a screwdriver i already had the clasp is fully milled sterile on the outside it has got some information on the inside you'll see there's still a sticker i'll get off should i get it off now so it's done put that to the side but yeah proxima and arunian uh, fully milled um Four levels of micro adjustment you'll see i'm using one of them now for it to fit my wrist as i'd like the crystal covering the dial as well as the insert on the bezel is sapphire crystal which is nice to see quite a bit of dome domage there sort of above the the bezel which is probably a mil or so but um, where it's sapphire crystal you know it's not going to scratch uh, which is good to see the water resistance of the watch is cited as being 200 meters so that would give you 20 atmospheres of water resistance and the weight will appear in the top right let me just move the crown to more so it gives you the time sort of let's move it to there that'll do us um so yeah it'll, it'll, top right is 123.4 grams with two links rem, uh, excuse me four links removed two of which are half links with those four four links back in you're probably about 140 grams so yeah not a bad bit of heft for the watch um, and decent proportions generally as well but let's have a look at the dial now guys in a bit more detail beautiful i do like the way they've done this i like the way it's been constructed so you've got an orange rehout with a minute track on the outer edge that you'll be able to see inside that you've got battens everywhere except for the three o'clock position where you've got the date position you've got a white enamel dial which is really really beautiful you got Proxima printed onto the dial just below the six o'clock, uh, twelve o'clock button. Excuse me. Automatic's been printed on just above the six. The hands. I, I know many. As I've heard comments and stuff. People saying the hands are too short. I don't believe they are. I think it's quite in keeping with the sort of retro style they've got going. Um, and also the rehau is where it is and it's sloped, so it couldn't go a huge amount further. So I think the hands are just about okay. The hour is is orange. Uh, the other two hands are black uh, in keeping with the sort of outer part of the the indices which is black with white inside um i think it's done really really well it's a very striking watch uh which is why i really wanted to get it in i was kind of blown away by the sort of colorways i wouldn't say i'm particularly fond of orange but I the way they've done it on this watch i think it, it does look exceptional um, really really nice a little bit a slightly different on the hour uh, but generally the orange is pretty consistent throughout the watch i'll bring the loom up now um i was actually really really impressed with the loom even at times when i've been wearing it outside it's not particularly sunny at the moment guys here in the uk because uh, obviously we're coming into sort of winter dark months and it doesn't take much to charge and when you can see when it's charged you've got the bezel the hands and indices all, all shine really really bright it's been almost like a torch next to my bed in the evening so yeah very very nice to see good loom on there um inside it's running a pt5000 movement as i've said if i undo the crown it pops away nicely uh the stem's been done to a good standard you pull it all the way out it does hack you put it back in it will start back up again if you take it out to the first position if you scroll away from you on this instance it will change the date and then you can put it back in and screw it back up when i first got it it, it wasn't as smooth 
but it has worn in a little bit. I don't know if they put some grease on there and then over time it just sort of wore in. But yeah, the crown feels nice and smooth now in terms of the engagement. But that's the dial, guys. That's the movement. Let me just pop it on the wrist quickly, give you an idea of what it looks like on my wrist. Okay, so guys and girls, this is what it looks like on my wrist. And it is a very pretty thing. Um, I like the way they've done the bezel. I like the, the rehaul. I like the hands and indices. I like the enamel dial. It's just really, really nice. So there we are. That's what it looks like. What do you think? Okay, so guys and girls, that would now take me on swiftly to what I think is pants. Uh, pucker about the watch. If you've ever watched before, you know I always start with pants. I like to go on a high with pucker. So what I think is pants about the watch, very little. I've got to say, I've, I've, I've really enjoyed spending time with this watch. And to be honest, it's it's lived up to expectations. To be honest, I was expecting a lot and it hasn't. It's, it's definitely delivered. The only thing I will mention, it's not a deal breaker, was the fact the screwdriver didn't fit. It's the second time now that's been the case where I've had a screwdriver they've sent me and it doesn't actually fit and I didn't want to damage um, the link or the screw by persisting. So that's the only thing I mentioned because I really do like this watch. So I'm gonna go with a screwdriver for pants. What I think is pucker, considerably more, so strap yourself in. The sapphire crystal, I like how they, you can see there's lots of AR coating on there. I like how they've done it. A nice, nice distortion at the sides, which I think looks really, really cool. The dial, yeah, beautiful white enamel dial. Um, and also the rehout, which, which will go along with that as well. I think they just look fantastic. The orange and white they've used, they just really complement each other. The hands and indices, I know to some it may be a mil too, maybe too short, but I think I, I can work with it. I think it looks really nice. I like the fact it's consistent with the black, orange, and the white throughout. I think that's very, very cool. The loom, as I mentioned, the loom surprised me in a way because I wasn't expecting it to be quite so bright for quite so long. I found it to be very, very good. The bezel, the bezel, 120 click, unidirectional bezel. It's got good coining on there. Very, very easy to interact with. Uh, again, fantastic. The build quality, the build quality you're getting from Proxima at the moment is just exceptional. Um, I own one uh, and I'm probably going to keep this one. I'm not going to lie. Um, I think it's just fantastic. Like I said uh, previously, they are now looking to get an on the fly adjust clasp. If I could pick one up for this watch, I would definitely do so and the general look of the watch i'm not saying it's an original design they've definitely drawn inspiration from some more well-known watches but i think it looks exceptional i really think it looks striking i've had more compliments on this watch than i have for a long time on any watch so it tells you a lot so the things i mentioned i'll go with the sapphire crystal dial rehout hands and indices loom bezel build quality and the general look and guys and girls look at all that tells you a lot doesn't it and that will take me on to would I recommend the watch of course I think it's an absolute stunner uh, not the cheapest sort of watch on Aliexpress but for me one of the best you can get on that platform um, I think it's just an exceptional watch and one that I will be keeping there's no two ways about it if they do bring out a on the fly adjust clasp that fits this watch I would certainly be picking it up um, and I don't foresee this going anywhere for quite some time but guys and girls, please let me know what you think about this watch, more importantly. Uh, maybe any other watches you may want to see on the channel. And as always say, don't forget to like, subscribe, and always watch the time. Take care guys, all the very best.